Hey, I'm Ray Latif with BevNet. I'm at the 2018 Winter Fancy Food Show here in San Francisco, California. Behind me is the Savor California section of the show, which features gourmet food and beverage brands that are based here in California. We spoke with a few of the entrepreneurs behind their brands about their companies and what they're selling, how Savor, the organization, and its membership supports their companies, and why California has been such an important incubator for emerging trends and concepts. The best thing I've found is, is acceptance. California is always looking for new and better products. Uh, San Francisco and really leads the trends, and so does Sacramento, with the organic movement and with natural products. And another thing you get here is all the immigrants. So, for example, my product does really well in the tech industry, where you have Indians and Persians and Greeks that are filling the employment in those centers. So the word spreads fast. Uh, especially if you've got a story and something resonates to home for them. People have a high willingness to try new products that are maybe a little bit different or experiment with new brands that they don't already know about and they're not really shy about price point, I think. California carries with a panache. It says that things are made with love. Um, we're known as a state for our produce and our access to high level ingredients. The creativity in the uh, chefs and in the food space is there's, un, you know, unmatched around the world. Uh, we have the highest concentration of creative foodies there is. We have the customers to go with it, and we have the producers who produce it. And so to have that California brand already gives a stamp of, uh, of, of quality. You know that the product is gonna come from a creative brain, um, and that it's gonna be delicious. Um, and that it usually has a high amount of sustainability involved with it, um, and it's more of a lifestyle choice. You know, it started, it started with the restaurants, it started in Napa, I mean, but it, it just it spread throughout the state. It's kind of amazing. And I tell people, even I tell people here, which I've done the last two days, like you go to L.A., and L.A. has the best sushi scene outside of Tokyo. is in L.A. It's in California. You go to San Diego, and just the tequila experience there, the beverage experience, it's amazing. And then, of course, you've got San Francisco and NorCal with the wine country. I think it's incredible. Well, I think California is an innovative hub, and so we kind of, I mean, look around um, in, under the Savor California tent, and it's 30 brands, and um, we're innovative. Uh, there's a lot of food innovation going around, and we're also inspired by all the you know, great restaurants around as well. It's like a huge beta uh, test is what the state is to me, especially the Hot Pockets, which for me, my home is Sacramento, but then uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles, are, are really in San Diego are key areas to see what your customers want and what they need and the retail chains have really accepted a small company as opposed to a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi. Oakland was named one of the top places to visit by the New York Times several years ago and that was for its food. So we really feel like we're in a very good community for food. Uh, when we scattered out the show a few years ago we saw Savor California and knew that this was the booth that we wanted to be a part of. I think everybody in here, there's really a community feel and everybody's very friendly. There's there's no sense of competition. It's just people trying to support other brands. And this is a place where emerging brands that are California-centric can really get some notoriety and get attention from people that otherwise we might get missed if we were someplace not associated with California. Well, Savor California is great because it's it serves as a stepping uh, stone into a, a major food show like this because it, cost-wise it is really expensive to just have your own booth and this allows a lot of smaller brands to showcase their products um, on an equal you know, platform as Fancy Food Show. All the trends are true. Uh, I mean they want less sugar in their product, they want good ingredients, they want natural ingredients um, my product is, is GMO free and uh, it's organic and that was four or five years ago when I was developing it, that was new for the RTD space and now it's starting to create more. So that's what Californians are wanting and what, they're, um, and what I'm delivering. So we're just surrounded by people who are always thinking about how can I do what I'm doing but more in an interesting way, more creatively and what kinds of packaging and what kinds of styles and what kinds of flavor combinations. And I don't know that all, a lot of those products work in the Midwest, but they work here. Um, and people come to us for that experience. And so we bring us to them. Well, I think we um, have been making natural products that are 
you know, giving you clean energy. And I think there's a lot of people in California who are very interested in better for you products that are that don't have gums and carrageenans and fillers and don't use you know coffee extracts and the things that are just you want a pure product that comes from a good place and um, it's been really great for us to be in the Bay Area through all of that and in California as a whole. Hey if you like this video click here to subscribe and here to watch more.